With Easter being tomorrow, naturally my mind went to one thing, bunnies. So today I wanted to explore what a bunny or rabbit of every type might look like. We currently have about half the types taken up by these lagomorphic lads here, and no I'm not counting megalopony as it's form exclusive and is a secondary type. But anyway, let's get started filling these types with the ice type. And for this we have Bunsky from Apofakemon's Metas region. Naturally this frosty fellow with his goggles, snowsuit like fur, long feet, and name are inspired by skiing. And as such, this Pokemon's favorite pastime is speeding down slopes. The higher up the mountain and more risk involved, the more fun it is for this Pokemon. And another rabbit Pokemon known for fun antics is our dark type, Harlecare, the Jester Pokemon, a psychic dark type who I worked with Maoist decks to create. This clearly mischievous bunny was from my first Fakemon region, Cornera, and is inspired by Harlequins and the Harlequin Rabbit. Harlequins are known for being witful tricksters, hence its psychic dark type, and Harlequin Rabbits are known for their starkly contrasting colors, like the stark contrast between psychic and dark type. This Pokemon actually evolves from a normal type, so it gave it a new ability called Ruminate, which turns normal type moves into psychic type moves, like Pixelate with Fairy types or Refrigerate with Ice types. Harlequare can either be a defiant trickster or a loyal entertainer. Which side you get depends on its mood. But you know what will always keep you entertained? Today's sponsor, AFK Journey. Great news! AFK Journey is now available on iOS, Google Store for mobile, and on AFK Journey's official website for PC. AFK Journey is not just some idle game, but an innovative and enthralling fantasy RPG with stunning visuals, intricate gameplay mechanics, and PC-compatible side-scrolling elements which add a whole new dimension. In this breathtaking, magical land, embark on an epic quest in AFK Journey as Merlin, gathering heroes across six factions and using different teams to develop new strategies and tactics. Explore large, diverse maps, solving challenging yet fun puzzles, and meeting interesting NPCs with effortless one-handed gameplay. AFK Journey also has a unique and interesting character customization system, offering a variety of looks for the protagonist. For those familiar with AFK Arena, Resonance is back along with the newly added Equipment Resonance. And it isn't called AFK Journey for nothing. Easily earn resources while you sleep, eat, or watch my videos on repeat. With AFK Journey's official release, it offers over 40 heroes for free, including epics, enabling players to explore diverse battle strategies. On top of that, through gradual distribution and by participating in events with a 7-day login, players can receive over 200 or more free pulls. Use my key AFK Journey 88 found in the description. Redeem it to receive 100 diamonds and 18,888 golden coins. Thanks so much to AFK Journey for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. You know what always bugs me when making these kinds of videos? Bugs? I mean, how do you mix a rabbit with an insect? Oh, that? Are you sure that counts as a... A second insect has hit the tap? Okay, yeah, got it. Great idea, me. So allow me to introduce Sluggle, the Slug Bunny Pokemon, a bug water type that I worked with Kaifake Monasar to create. This little guy is inspired by the Sea Bunny, a type of fluffy sea slug that, as its name implies, happens to look like an adorable itty bitty rabbit. We tried to take a page from the Pukumuku playbook when designing Sluggle to add to the cute factor. Just like its real life counterpart, this Pokemon is a slug that just happens to take the appearance of a rabbit, but has soft fur that makes it just as snuggly as a real one. Hence its name, which combines slug and snuggle. Sluggle spends most of its time on the sea floor, cuddling up against Pokemon that look cold. Its fur on contact releases a soothing and warming chemical that leaves the recipient feeling very pleasant. I know we all wanted to cuddle the sea bunny when we first saw it, so this Pokemon fulfills that dream. And from the realm of dreams, we travel to the realm of nightmares with the ghost type. And for this, I introduce you to Bunpire, the bun dead Pokemon, a pure ghost type that I worked with Fungusmon to create. When thinking of a supernatural rabbit to use as an inspiration for the ghost type, my mind went to none other than the classic book series Bunicula by Deborah and James Howe. The books are about a mysterious rabbit with a vampiric appearance that sucks out the juice of carrots rather than eating them. Its haunting visage leads to it being blamed for every mysterious event that takes place in the different books, but spoiler alert, Bunicula is innocent pretty much every time. The same can be said for Bunpire, who has a bit of an unsettlingly cute look. This has led to many rumors of the truly terrifying things that this Pokemon is capable of, when in reality it's just a little ghost rabbit. This is why despite it having a darker coloration and vampires typically being evil beings, I refrained from giving Bunpire the dark type. This Pokemon does get a new signature move though, Drain Fang, a base 55 ghost type move that absorbs HP equal to 50% of the damage done to the target. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked we don't have a ghost type move that drains HP yet, so with this one we do. Draining someone's life force is also an attribute of our next rabbit, just in a different way. Meet Subliminaire, the brainwash Pokemon, a steel psychic type that I also worked with Kai on. This robotic looking Lapin is inspired by the kind of uncanny valley feeling of looking at a hair straight on and a dated piece of technology, the TV antenna which are also known as rabbit ears. 
Where the psychic type and its name come from are the idea of subliminal messaging. Media sneaking in hidden messages within your TV programming to brainwash you into doing exactly what they want you to do. Which is exactly what Subliminaire does as well. It uses its hypnotic eyes and powerful mind to persuade you into doing its bidding. This manifests in its signature ability, Brainwasher, which makes it so anyone who hits Subliminaire with a contact move becomes confused and has their stats reset. Though this Pokemon seems malevolent given its abilities, it really only uses them in the wild to make potential predators forget it even existed, becoming an echo of a memory. And echoes are what our next bunny is all about. So meet Ekop, the acoustic Pokemon, a pure rock type which I created with Kai as well. This Pokemon would honestly be right at home in the Cornero region, as it's inspired by the Red Rock hair and by Red Rock's park and amphitheater found in Morrison, Colorado. This amphitheater is near and dear to my heart as I have been many times and it is a fantastic music venue, and the acoustics go absolutely crazy. So infuse a rabbit's huge ears which are perfect for picking up sounds and you got yourself Ekop. Its category of the acoustic Pokemon comes from its ability, Acoustic Rock, which makes sound-based moves become the rock type, like Liquid Voice, but for the rock type. Ekop used their ears that are abnormally receptive to sound to track other Pokemon and keep itself hidden amongst the craggy cliffs and mountain faces it calls home. I mentioned Cornera with our last bunny, which leads me into this next entry. There's been a Pokemon concept I've been wanting to redo for a long while, and I felt this would be the best time as our next entry is the flying type. In Cornera, I made a ground fairy type Dust Bunny Pokemon called Dust Bunny, and if I'm being 100% honest with myself, I always wished I had handled the concept differently, and the name is honestly just… bad. So for our new and improved Dust Bunny Pokemon, meet Dustuft, the Dust Bunny Pokemon, a flying ground type that I also worked with Kai on. The specific kind of rabbit that Dustuft is inspired by are French Angora rabbits. With them looking like big old poofs, it matched perfectly with a Dust Cloud inspired Pokemon. Dustuft leap and bound high in the air over its habitat of dry plains and deserts. Some say it can become one with the wind and float forever despite not having wings. Speaking of wings, we move on to the dragon type. I had a surprisingly tough time combining a dragon with a rabbit. I went through many ideas in my head and nothing clicked. But then one idea hit my brain and oh boy did it click. I tried to think of a winged rabbit which led me to the Wolpertinger, a Germanic creature that has the head of a rabbit, the body of a squirrel, the wings of a pheasant, and the antlers of a deer. Move over, Jackalope! There's a cooler rabbit cryptid in town. The chimeric nature of this creature made me think of, well, a chimera. A mix between a lion, goat, snake, and sometimes a dragon or an eagle. And then I thought of another kind of rabbit breed, the lion head. And all those concepts fused in my head to create Wolperush, the whirlwind Pokemon, a dragon flying type that I also worked with Fungusmon on. Wolperush are known to be fast and furious creatures, able to create mighty vortexes of wind by flying in circles around an opponent. This Pokemon would absolutely learn Dragon Rush, Whirlwind, and Hurricane along with a new move, Exceladrake, a base 30 priority physical dragon type move that raises speed by one stage. Basically like a weaker Accelerock that also raises speed. And last but certainly not least, what would this video be without an Easter Bunny Pokemon? So for the fighting type, we have Lapaint, the Color Splash Pokemon, a fighting fairy type that I also worked with Fungusmon on. Lapaint can summon a sticky paint-like substance from the tips of its ears that they will throw like grenades at their opponents, exploding in a vivid display and covering their foes. This is their signature move, Color Splash, a base 50 special fairy type move that lowers the target's speed by two stages. The base concept of this guy was, what if the Easter Bunny was rad as hell? And that's basically it. And that's it for this video. Thank you to our lovely members that you can see some of on screen for supporting the channel with their hard earned money, which you can also do by hitting that join button. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you all next time.